Good morning everyone, it's Joker, and today we are back with another slime video, and it is once again time to rank the full meta, the two-year anniversary meta, and the skill fusions that came with it. So this should be a very interesting video because we, we have a lot of units to get through. We got, you know, all these guys. We've got the cliche. We've got these two. This tab is for something. It's a different video, so don't worry about that one. But, I mean, this, this meta has so far been very, very powerful. Um, there are a few quirks here and there that I will uh, grieve about later down the line. But overall, I mean, it's a typical stacking meta and it does oogie boogie amounts of damage, as most stacking metas do. So it's nothing we haven't seen before, it's just wrapped up with a different colored bow this time. So let's get the easy things out of the way. Uh, free to play Cleesh with her orb change with the not so great secondary effect, but her magic resistance down skill I think is good, and while I don't like her orb change, it's still decent enough to warrant her being up in A tier. Um, she's only used on a magic team, obviously, because her magic resistance is, you know, only applicable to magic. So it, it does limit her to being on some other teams, and because her orb change has the not-so-great 20% alt gauge effect rather than the 10% to all gauges, I don't want to rank her up into S tier. She's still a good unit, though, by, you know, by all intents and means for most players that are not going for, you know, super oogie-boogie damage. She's she's a good unit. And I think an A rank is, is a fair representation for her. Uh, much better than some of the other free-to-play characters that we've gotten recently. But, you know, not as good as maybe, say, Vengeance Yom, because, you know, he will kill anything. Uh, moving on to the Protectors, um, free-to-play Satoru is not terrible. Uh, he's um, he's usable in a number of scenarios. I'm going to put him up in the C tier. I think him and the Konosuba Shuna have very same type usage. Her She, you know, gives extra, um, you know, stacking stuff like skill point gain and uh, skill cap raise, hers are greater at the expense of not having some third effect, whereas this Satro has the synergy rate, but with lower stacking effects for point gain and skill cap raise. So I, I think they're a good trade-off. I think they're a good, decent C tier. Um, Lumi. Lumi, I think, is a good protector. I think she is held back back just a bit um, when we get to some of the more try-hard Jubilee strats where you're really looking for 500 plus kind of points to use and on turn 8 you're hard capped at 400. 100 points is a lot that you're missing out on so uh, the fact that she's limited in that capacity is unfortunate. Everything else that she does is, is pretty typical, you know, 40, you know, well, not that, but the 100% skill uh, skill point gain on blues up to 500, that's, you know, average for every other protector. Her synergy power, she is the only unit that does that so far, and until we see another unit that gives synergy, or sorry, sorry, synergy rate, until we see another unit that gives synergy rate, she will stand tall as the best synergy protector, and, you know, there's nothing we can do about that. So, I would rate her, like, a high A, low S, right? The synergy can be used by anybody. It's not specifically physical or magic, it's generic. Her skill cap, while unfortunate, is still decent. You can still use a lot of buffs, and if you play your hands right, you can use a full, like, five unit, full on 80 point skill points uh, nukes, but it you gotta play around with it. So, uh, she's, she's worthy of being an S tier. Um, maybe some, you know, like split in the middle right here. Um, uh, but she does, certainly doesn't belong up here in Godly. So I'm, there are, again, quirks that I wish they would fix with her, but it is what it is. I, she's still a, a good protector for the second anniversary. And then moving on to the battle units. This, this one's going to take a while. So first, let's rank the skill fusions. Um, let's see, Earth Lumi. Where does Earth Lumi live right now? She lives, uh, where, oh, where, where does Earth Lumi live? Does she live up in A tier? Yeah, I, I really, I 
don't see any reason to keep to move her anywhere else. Uh, she her alt you know her alt deny got cheaper, cool, and it gave her extra alt gauge, cool. She's still a very outdated unit, and what they gave her doesn't really solve any of her problems. Um, certainly, if you have her at level one hundred, you can use her, and it makes her alt deny much cheaper than harmonize or Rimuru. But that's I mean, there's only very few scenarios that you're actually gonna use that to it. It's actual true potential so I, I think just remaining in a tier is fine in fact i mean i might even drop her down in a b tier at this point um because there a lot of these units are just much better than her and but i think she still reigns here because we just have a fundamental lack of earth units right if the next meta we get is full earth then we'll probably move lumi down because she she's just not what she once was um fire benny maru did get a pretty substantial buff, right? He got an extra 10% on his personal attack buff, and he got an extra 40% on orange buff. So I think I would actually move him up into B tier, one level above his old ranking, just because it does make him a semi-more competent AoE fire nuker, and eh, we don't really have too many of those. Like, Velzard definitely exists. Uh, Shizu is more of a support unit than anything else, but eh. I, I think he's got a decent enough skill fusion. Violet, unfortunately, I just don't think got enough. Like, they really held back on her. So, she's up here. She's gonna stay up here. She got an extra 10% on her attack. Like, whoopty friggin' do. I, I really wish they had done a little bit more with her. But she is a fairly, quote-unquote, new unit, even though she's a year old. They couldn't do much with her. Unless they made her ridiculously overpowered. Which, you know, I kind of wish they did. Because she is a year old. She came out with the movie... And she she deserves to get a little bit extra than just 10% attack, and that's it. So I, I, I don't really like her skill fusion. She's still a good unit. They could have made her better, and they just kind of made her a tiny bit better. They did the bare minimum with this Violet. Uh, Water Soe, <laughs> where does he exist right now? He exists down in D tier, all right? Water Soe actually got a huge, substantial buff. Um... On, especially on the Vengeance team. So I'm going to move him up into A tier with his skill fusion. Not into S tier because he's really only good on the Vengeance team. So one team out of many, many different ones. And his orb change is still 30 points. Which really does come back to bite him when you're capped on a team with 100 points. And you know, using four 25 point skills is a lot of impact versus using three skills. It, it really kind of cuts down on what you can do with that team every single turn, even with the skill reset. So if he didn't have that, if he was more useful on other teams, I would I would push him up in S tier. But I think A is a decent ranking for him, especially you know where he's coming from on his base form. So I think that's fair. Uh, Space Rimuru, skill fusion. He was down in B tier. And you know what? I'm going to also put him up into A tier. His secondary skill, his defense, you know, can be useful here and there. His attack buff is still 40%, but he does get that extra 30% alt resistance down, which really does give him quite a bit of extra power. Enough to compete with some of the EX buffs that we've gotten recently. It's not, a, it's not an insignificant jump in damage potential that he gives. It's just that his other skill is not as useful as, like, Violet's orb change and her alt resistance down, even if we, she didn't have the crit stuff going on. I don't think it quite pushes him up into S tier. I could hear arguments for people wanting to put him up here because of the excess damage that he can bring to a team would be probably more than Hinata, but her secondary skill is, is much better, and she's buffing every single element and her own you know uh, self-buff, so... A tier for Space Rimuru, I think, is a very fair judgment, but you can definitely let me know if you think you want him to be higher or not, for your own reasons. But now let's move into the actual new units, but first give me a minute. Alright, sorry, had to eat lunch. Anyways, uh, let's start off with uh, Rimuru. So Rimuru is is an interesting unit. He's got his, you know, self-convert to blues, and then he's got the new unity orb, the rainbow orbs, which can combo off of anything. It gives maximum gauge for everything, regardless of what it is. It does need to start out as a blue orb to become a unity orb, which does hurt him, but on a blue stacking team, like, you're gonna have blue orbs. 
Um, he doesn't necessarily bring damage support to the team, but he brings a healthy amount of get rid of this RNG type of stuff. The only thing that really docks him, in my opinion, is that you can only use the unity once. Like, if that was even twice in one fight, it would have been so much better. So I think he's a good unit for a lot of beginning people, but for endgame players, he's not going to see much use. He might be good in Valor Cup. Uh, uh, we'll have to wait and see. I'll have to do a showcase for that to try and figure out where he works out. But uh, he he's a good early to mid game unit. And then towards the late game, when you've really got a bunch of units and you've got options, I, I, I don't see him getting used all that much. So he's going to be a solid A tier unit for now. Uh, if he had the unity like twice or something or multiple times, I maybe would put him in the S tier, but he's not a bad unit. He's just meant for newer players to learn the game and get around some maybe lack of other characters that would uh, help a team run efficiently. Uh, moving on, we have, let's go with Violet. Violet is a really good character for most people because she's triple orb changing. She has the same orb change as Megamine and she's got that 100% magic buff. And they're, I mean, it's only, it's either magic or physical. They're, so she's buffing half the game, right? And orb changing to blues on a, with an 80 point skill means that you want to use her on a blue stacking team. I think she's a very, 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 very good, you know, where'd she go? Uh, very good unit. And she's going to go up into the double S tier because she's essentially what Guy is, right? They both have the triple orb change. They both have protection trait on turn three. They're both giving a fairly generic buff uh, to the entire team. Guy is, you know, giving alt to everybody, but crit to physical units only. Uh, she's not really doing double duty on her buff skill, but it's still, it's a higher percentage than what Guy is giving if you were just using him for his alt. So I think they both belong in double S tier. And you know who else belongs in double S tier? Uh, Blanc. Her kit is ridiculous. It is actually kind of nutty how good her kit is. She's got not one, not two, but a triple alt swap, which up to this point, we've only ever had a single alt swap with uh, the hero 2.0, with Earth Rimuru, with swimsuit shizu and you know she's up here uh the hero 2.0 is down here and then warrior's mind rainbow is down here as well so they're not bad units they're just you know rather specific she is doing a triple alt swap she is doing weakness damage which you know as long as she's buffing the nuke character and the nuke character has type advantage and then they're going to get 100 percent weakness strike uh and she's got you know, the synergy resistance down, which does require you to have someone to give you synergy, or you pray you hit a 2% natural synergy. Uh, so that's the only reason that she's not up in godly, is because the synergy right now is limited to one protector on one team. If we had a unit that gave synergy across the board, that was a battle unit skill that was like 25, 55 points even, then I think that she would be up in godly. But right now, she's firmly entrenched in the double S tier with Violet, because on a blue stacking team, you're going for eight turns or more, you're going to get multiple alts. And sometimes I don't want to send early alts. I want full blue hands for you know eight turns straight. And she's definitely going to help you do that and give you massive amounts of damage buff. So in the, in the future, I could see her very easily moving up into godly. But right now, with no other units that give synergy power or synergy rate, she is solid double S with Violet. They're both very, very good units on any blue stacking team. A Violet needs to be on a magic team more so than anything else, but you can bring Blanc almost anywhere, and she'll get some use out of it. And that brings us down to Jean, Primordial Yellow. Um, in my opinion, the most unnecessary unit out of this meta. She, I would not consider early to mid-game friendly like I would this Rimuru. I would not consider her mm, generic support like Blanc or Violet. So I'm going to put her up in the S tier because what she does is she does a fuck ton of damage and she does it very, very well. And that makes her a very good unit 
but she does need very specific setups to be able to use all of her, you know, stuff going on. Because, you know, 100% alt damage across the board. Great. That, that applies to everybody. Synergy power buff for herself requires a synergy rate unit, which again, the same reason, same issue with Blanc, there's only one major protector that does that right now. So uh, that's holding her back. And then her second skill, with the extra 70% alt damage for EX characters that are Primal Demon, there's, you know, three conditions right there, right? Three. Uh, you have to be an EX unit, you have to have an EX alt, and you have to be on Primal Demon before you can even make use of that extra 70%. So it's really only applicable to her. Because there's only like seven other units that are on Primal Demon, right? Maybe eight, if I'm missing one off the top of my head. So it's not really that big of an issue. It's it's mainly for her, so it's more of a selfish buff. And then the second effect on that scale is 50% space resistance down. Which again, it's her and Violet that are really going to make use of that second skill. Because no one else is Primal Demon, no one else is space. And in those same categories. So it's it's mainly for her. So you need, she is an 80 point and a 55 point skill. You cannot bring her on a burst team. You cannot bring her on a defense team. You really wouldn't bring her on an orange team. You could bring her on a green team. Like, you could. I, I don't know if I would, but you could. So, yeah, she, she falls down because she needs very specific setups. She needs a lot of orbs. She needs a lot of points to be able to feed and use her buffs efficiently. So I think that holds her back more so than being pretty generic on most teams, while still being a competent damage dealer, right? Before she came out, Violet was doing plenty of damage, right? We just assumed that she was going to be the DPS because she was space and she was magic. And then we got her and we're like, well, I mean, yeah, great. We, we get more damage. We didn't really need more damage. She's good at doing a lot more damage, but I'm only ever going to use her on one team versus this Violet where I'm going to use on any blue stacking magic team, which we're going to get a lot of in the future. And we already have quite a few of those to begin with. So uh, S tier for Jean, I think, is appropriate. If you want to not look at her as, like, as just support and you want to look at her as pure damage, I still think she would be S tier. Uh, because her her requirements are, are very, very high. And she requires the new premium protector to really make use of that. So, so, Editing Joker is here. Many, many days after recording this uh, tier list video. Uh, because I, mm, stupidly I guess is how we'll put that, recorded it prior to Jubilee releasing. And now that Jubilee is out... And we've had a, a few moments to use um, the new units as a whole. I do have a few edits to make before we end the video. So I cut the old ending out. This is the new ending. And we have a little bit of edits to make. Uh, I, I will put John up into double S tier. She, after going through and using her a lot more, like I've done a few different showcase videos using her, you can put her on a bunch of teams. There are a lot of blue stacking teams, and sure, while you might miss out on that synergy power, it is only a small part of her kit, so I think it's unfair to lower her rank because of one 30% skill rather than, you know, the other 170 plus 50 resistance down that she's doing herself. And, you know, as long as you make her a primary nuker and you build a team around her, she's going to do good damage pretty much wherever you take her, unless it's fighting an earth unit. Also, I am going to move Rimaru up into S tier. Uh, I, I'd like I stated earlier that his usefulness for newer and mid game players is not to be underestimated. After you know this jubilee happening, his value I think his usefulness has gone up a lot. I I guess I was just underestimating the power of the unity orbs. And while yeah, it's true you can only use it once. I mean, for a lot of these fights, you only need it once before you can really get things off to a good start. So I, I think he's worthy of S rank. So those are the changes I have to make as far as the new units are concerned. So moving Jean up, moving Rimuru up, they're all, I think, very good units um, You know, in this meta. I think these two are far and away, I think, the most useful outside of this meta as far as general support. Jean, I, you know, you you will put her on a different team and surround her with support. And then Rimuru is good orb support and gauge support across the board. So 
that's a that is it for this month's updated tier list video. I'm fairly impressed with all three units. Um, I I don't think any of them quite creep into the godly tier. Um, if when we get, I mean, more blue stacking teams, we're gonna get them. Maybe a, a battle unit that gives synergy that might raise Blanc up into godly, uh, just because of you know her triple alt swapping ability is unheard of until now. Like they skipped the double alt swap and just went right to triple, so that's something. But let me know what you guys think about the tier list. I think people will be a little bit more happy with the end of this this ranking rather than where I initially placed them. Um, but let me know your thoughts down below. And also, you know, as a shout out, we are trying to get to 10k by the end of the year. It's a nice goal. We're, you know, we just crossed the 9k barrier. So I think by the end of December, there's a small chance that we can hit 10k. So, you know, if you like the video, like and subscribe and do all that shenanigans that I never say or tell people to do that YouTubers should be doing that. But, you know, whatever. If you made it to the end of this video, then by all means, please do it. But that's it for me, guys. Take it easy. And I'll see you all later.